you are watching Kit Cabinet and this is the comparison between the Sword and the Hasegawa P40 kit in 172nd scale. Okay, I want to make a short comparison between the Sword P40 and the Hasegawa P40 as to which one is the best. Now I must say it's a close call. Of course the sword plane was released uh, like uh, six years ago. Uh, the panel lining is very good and the detail and shape and size is very good. The fit however isn't that good and there are a couple of things that they missed. So would it best the Hasegawa P40? Well, um, I uh, changed something uh, on this uh, model. It's the original engine. I put on a resin engine to make a P40F. But the general airframe of the Hasegawa kit still looks very good. They have a couple of panel lines in the wings that uh, are lacking uh, and that the sword kit does have. This cap point here, um, there's a couple of small details that are missing but these are easily solved. And the fit of this model is a breeze, That's, it's, it's fantastic, it just goes together so easily whereas the sword kit you really have to like a sand like every joint and you have to fill like every part and refit and everything so yeah and if the sword kit would be perfect but it isn't it has a cockpit which is very nice the Hasekawa uh, kit doesn't really have a cockpit to speak of. I uh, had to make the whole cockpit myself. But the sword kit was missing a couple of parts, a couple of essential parts. So that's a bit like, mm, why did they miss that? Like uh, the headrest wasn't there, this front cockpit uh, part wasn't there that had to be added. Um, they even missed a small panel line here. I rescribed that uh, one, uh, so it wasn't uh, it wasn't too difficult to rescribe. But they didn't take the chance to make like the perfect kit. The sword kit is like mm, was released like about uh, a bit over six years ago. But the Hasegawa kit is like over 40 years old. And I mean, look at the difference. I mean, the Hasekawa kit is still very, very much up to date. The only thing is like it's lacking a cockpit. And looking at the undersides, we see that the Hasekawa kit just has these two plain holes. And that the sword kit has a very nice, well detailed undercarriage wheel well but <laughs> usually in the field the wheel wells had a canvas lining so you wouldn't see this uh, inner detail anyway that's like it's it, it's correct it's it's in the it's in the in the real plane but a closed wheel well would suffice so in the Hasekawa kit I added a bit of um, putty to simulate this um, this canvas lining, and also and also the wheel well size of the sword kit is a bit on the big side, so it's a bit like nice nice detail, but again the sword kit missed their mark a little bit. Also, like with the um, the landing light here, they added, uh, there was this hole and they added this uh, this lens for it, 
which didn't fit. So I took a piece of transparent sprue to uh, make this uh, landing light. And the Hasegawa kit only has like the, 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 the inscribing for a landing light. So I drilled that out. I'm going to fill that up with um, wood glue. And it should be okay from there. Also, the uh, sword missed this trim tab. It's easily corrected, but yeah, they missed a couple of things to make this kit like the perfect uh, step up from the Hasekawa kit. So in conclusion, do I think that the new sword kit bests the has old Hasekawa kit? I don't think so. It's, I'm not saying that it's not a good kit, it's a very good kit, but it says something about the quality of this old Hasegawa, which is still going very strong.